Hey, I am Sheena Quick with Black Sports Online and Out of the Blocks with Sheena Marie. I am here with Ed Dixon, the tight end for the Carolina Panthers. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, I saw that you basically you had to step up in the absence of Greg Olson, and um, you know, in the words of pretty much every coach, if you don't have to, if you get, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. How awesome was it to finally have your number called and have all the pieces aligned for you to be able to have a productive game last week? Well, it's, it's been tremendous. You know, um, when you come into this league. You don't expect to, you know, not be in the mix, so to say. You know, I'm, I'm in my eighth year. I've been in the mix a lot. Um, I've been in the role of, you know, the second tight end for at least four years now. Um, and to have this, you know, me step up and be the number one tight end and contribute to the offense and help the team overall win, you know, that's what I've been waiting for. You know, my whole career. I'm capable of doing that. I train every single day and I. Every, every single day in regards of if something ever happens, you know, I'm ready to step in and do my job. Nothing more than just doing my job. And in that backup role, did you find that you're able to observe more and um, just bring a little bit more knowledge to the game when you do step on the field, being able to kind of observe, and especially from somebody like Greg Olson? Yeah. I think it's, it's just a mindset. You know, and Greg, Greg uh, attests to this. You know, um, when, you, when you're playing in the NFL, you're one snap away from being a starter. You know, injuries are... are Gonna happen in this league. You know, we can't we can't avoid those. You, know, you never you never want to see a guy like Rick Olsen go down because of a lot of production. But you always have to plan for the worst. You know, if he does go down, who's your second guy? Who's your third guy? You know, right. Is your offense gonna fall so low that you're gonna you know lose games? You know, and, and it's, it's the testimony of, of myself, of my my coaching staff. You know, even Greg. You know, getting me prepared when I got here. So if anything happens, you know, I come in and, and not lose lose a beat, so to say. Okay, and um, just in the offseason, some of the moves that the Panthers made were to rectify some of those offensive um, the offensive struggles that we saw last season. I yeah. predicted that, you know, with Cam being out and coming back from that injury, not being at full strength for pretty much all of training camp and a yeah. good deal of the preseason, I knew that the offense would take a little time to gel yeah. and that you guys would have to kind of count on the defense yeah. to win the game, which is kind of what's happened so far this season. Are, was the game against New England kind of the changing of the guard where we're going to see that offense start to gel and the weapons that we've been so eager to see on the field start to come together and work for you guys? You can say that. You know, I'm, I'm, re I'm really critical on, on the offense that we run and everything like that. You know, I don't want to give us credit before it's, you know, it's, it's received. You know, I think, I think that was kind of the turning point to say, you know, this is how we can play. You know, this is how, is it, how it can look. We have to go out this week, you know, and, and, and you know, Put that message back out there. Show them that we that we're the same team and we can do those things. You know, the true fact about it is that team is in there. You know, we just had to prove it every single week that we can play that way. Okay, and what are some of the things that get Ed Dixon in the zone? Like, what are, what are some of the pregame rituals do you have? Do you have like a playlist that you listen to? A favorite meal? How do you prepare? I'm in, I'm in year eight now, so it's not that many things that, that don't get me in the zone. You know, I, I love I love what I do for a living. You know. Uh, I, tra I train all week and practice all week with the mindset of, of being prepared mentally so I can go out on Sundays and, and let it go, or Thursday or whenever we play, I let it go physically. You know, uh, I spend the week, you know, from, from Tuesday and Monday after after a game is debriefing, you know, spending time with my kids and my family, you know, getting away from football. But once Wednesday hits, you know, it's all focused. I'm in here, you know, crack of dawn about 5.30, you know, studying film, studying my, the next opponent. You know, getting my body ready and, and so on and so forth throughout the week and then on Sunday just letting loose and then just playing my heart out and being able to contribute to an all, all-around team win on Sundays. Okay, and you know with um, BSO as well as with my own um, radio show, kind of merge sports and hip-hop because yeah. I don't think that they're mutually exclusive. I think they very much are hand-in-hand. Hand. What are some, do you listen to a lot of music in your all-time? I listen all -time? to, I'm, I'm one of your rare breeds. I listen to all genres. I listen to, so do to I. country, R&B, rap, I listen to everything. So you know, shoot, whatever you, whatever you were going to say, shoot, whatever. So top five songs or top five that are artists top that are in your playlist right songs. now? I'm, it might be easier to say the artists. So we, because, just, we just got out of the, the summer, so I'm huge in the country. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm a, that's kind of crazy because I'm, I'm born in Southern California, you know, NWA and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But to, to go to college, go to Oregon and coming out here to North Carolina, I, I, I develop a strong liking for country music. Uh, just, a, just a soothing feeling, you know, summertime barbecue. On Definitely the, a on, summertime feel, yeah. On, on the lake and everything like that. So some of my main artists, is I usually go to CCMF, the Country Music Festival, just vibe, you know, with my lady and, and my friends. But around here, like, I'm actually going tonight to uh, Zach Brown Band. 
Okay. You know, just to get out, you know, take my lady on a date night, you know, That'd and just be go, cool. go out and vibe with, with you know the locals and everything like that, and just have a good have a good time and just relax, and get away from football, you know, let your mind ease, and just enjoy life. And you spoke about playing football in Oregon. If you were to take a cross country road trip from Charlotte <laughs> to Oregon, what teammate would it be with, and why? Woo. One teammate. Just one. Oh, Devin man. cheated. He took. He named two. But just yeah. one. Just one. I think I'm gonna take two as well. You know, if it, if it's not my buddy Greg, because me, me and Greg get along very well. You know, we both into kind of the same music and just talk life and politics and everything like that. I would take my other tight end buddy, Chris Manhurts. You know, I just appreciate you know his company and, and where he stands in his life and the type of man that he is. I'm mean, gonna keep it around. Just two of my buddies from my tight end group. You know, Chris Manhurts and. OG over here. Okay, last question for you. I, t I told you be five. We're on. We're on six minutes now. Sorry. Just one oh, more question. No problem. You could. Um, if you could play any professional sport, what would it be? Basketball all day. You know, I, I was a basketball player. And I'm, when when I was growing up, I saw this play basketball. Basketball and track. You know, I was a skinny guy. Everything like that. Uh, I stopped playing basketball. I think my sophomore year of college because I couldn't gain any weight. <laughs> I kept they would find me in the gym, everything like that. You know, a lot of people, a lot of football players say they can play basketball. I was truly a talented basketball player. You know, living my hoop dreams in the past. You know, I'm a football, football player now, and this is what I do for a living. But definitely basketball. I feel like it, uh, I could play in in, in, that, in that league and do, do pretty well. You know, I'm not saying I can be a top player like LeBron or one of those, but I can, <laughs> I can do pretty decent in, in, in the NBA. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Thanks for taking the time to sit down and chat with us. And no good luck this weekend. Thank you. Go back.